Good morning. Good morning, one and all. Let us learn an interesting, a very interesting story. A letter to God by G. L. Fuentes, which means Gregorio Lopez Fuentes. Yes, Gregorio Lopez Fuentes. He was a Mexican novelist. Over the G. L. Uh, I mean, a Fuentes was a Mexican. Novelist, poet, and journalist. Remember, a Mexican novelist, poet, and a journalist he was. From 1895 to 1966. Uh, remember the period 1895 to 1966. Uh, introduction before you read. They say faith can move mountains. They say, which means in the Bible it is being told. If you have a minimum, I mean, uh, faith, if you ask a mountain to go and fall into the uh, sea, it will do that. See, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you know, mustard very, very, very small. That's what I said, minimum. If you have a faith of a mustard seed, and if you ask a mountain, it will go and fall into the sea. It is told in the Bible. Which means, uh, I mean, your faith can uh, do miracles. That's the meaning of it. Okay. They say, it is told in the Bible, that faith can move mountains. If you have strong faith, it can move even mountains. But what should we put our faith in? Faith will trust and belief. What can we put our faith or trust in? Into. Okay. This is a question this story delicately poses. The story makes a big question that you will see at the end of the story. Okay. What can we have faith in? I mean, Lengo is a farmer. Our protagonist or a hero of the story is Lengo. He is a farmer who writes a letter to God. He writes a letter to God himself. When his crops are ruined, when he was in trouble, his crops are ruined. Asking for a hundred, I mean, a pesos. It's a coin, like a dollar. Okay. Take for example, hundred dollars he is asking. Yes. Does Lengo's letter reach God? We are going to see whether... He wrote a letter to God when he reached there or not. Does God send him the money? He is asking hundred dollars for example. Uh -huh. Does he get it? Uh, whether his letter reached God himself? Yes. Think what your answers to these questions would be. And guess how the story continues. Before you begin to read it. Suppose if you write a letter to God. God himself. Will he receive it? Will he send? I mean, um, uh, you, whatever you ask, even you have, uh, even if you have strong faith in God, whether God will perform miracle and uh, give you that whatever you ask, read on, then you will find the story. It's a humorous story, in a way ironic too. Activity. One of the cheapest ways to send money to someone is through the post office. I mean, he was from 1895 to 1966. Uh, in a way, we can assume before independence now. Or even as one after independence, that bit only he lived. Okay. Uh, that means at that time, it was the most popular method of, I mean, uh, sending letters, uh, sending money, etc. and etc. Now, the world has changed a lot. Now, nobody goes to a post service. We don't know where the post service is. It functions only one duty, that is a, a speed post. Other than we go for a courier service or etc. something, it will be punctual, more punctual than our post office. And sending money through post office is not possible now because it is so costly and by easily we can transfer the money. Uh, I mean, by using Google you can send 
मनी ट्रांसफर मेनी मेथड्स आर देयर ओके और ये ट्रांसफर ऑफ वन बैंक टू अनदर बैंक मोबाइल बैंक इज देयर वेयर इज दिस चेंज देयर लॉट एनी हाउ ड्यूरिंग हिज टाइम व्हेन द स्टोरी वाज रिटन इट वाज द चीपेस्ट सेल्स द ओवर ओके हाउ यू एवर सेंड और रिसीव्ड मनी इन दिस वे हाउ यू एवर रिसीव्ड और सेंड मनी थ्रू पोस्ट ऑफिस यस हियर इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू as you read the instructions discuss with your teacher in class the meaning of these words uh, as you read on okay uh, you understand the meaning of some words vocabulary counter counter many meanings are there counter noun means what is a table or a desk where money is counted or transactions being done you go to a bank you see cash counter is there is not so uh, you go to a hotel parcel counter is there is not so Uh, cash counter is there counter where parcels are given cash counter where cash is received and balance given that's what is not so a desk where transactions are being done that's all okay counter a counter clerk not clerk senior case not clerk but a clerk okay appropriate means proper suitable uh, acknowledgement see acknowledgement is what means the knowledge of Suppose if you send a send a letter by registered post or speed post, you can get an acknowledgement card. So the card will come back to you, and the I mean it will be signed by the receiver. So you you are making sure that the reached its destination. Okay, acknowledgement. Okay, counterfoil receipt. Say a little part or half part of it will be there as counterfoil. Okay, now yes, whatever receipt is given, uh, then a record something being recorded. Anyhow. Consult a dictionary if necessary. If you don't know the meaning of these words, usually use the words. No. If anyone has doubts, you uh, make a comment. I will really explain what those meanings are. Okay, okay. Are these words corresponding to these English words in your language? Okay. Uh, whether suitable words are there in your own local, I mean, uh, language? Find out. Okay, na. So how do you send a letter of uh, money by money order? Okay. Uh, stand the page and find out and go through it slowly, slowly. Uh, next page, uh, I mean page number one, two, three. Okay. So the uh, story comes. The house, the only one in the entire valley, stand on the crest of a low hill. Crest means surface or top. It is the top of uh, of a hill. I study geography also, no. The surface of the earth is a crust. Many layers are there, no? Okay. The top is called crust. Tell me how. Uh, crust means top of a hill. So the only one in the entire valley, in that valley, it was the only one. Sat on the crust of a low hill. Yes, the house sat on the top of a hill. From this height, one could see the river. From that height, top of a hill, one anyone can see what. Ah, uh, the river, beautiful river. Ah, uh, and the field of ripe corn. A yes, corn field, like paddy field. Corn field is there. Okay, na. One can see then there corn field, beautiful landscape, beauty of nature. You can find the river, the corn field. Ah, uh, then what? I mean, ah, um, uh, and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers. See, just like dots. So the entire field you look, the field is ripened. So flowers are there. The ripened uh, corn field. So the flowers are there, which appears to be like dots. The flowers seems to be like dots in that big, I mean, vast, I mean, corn field. In that corn field, flowers appears to be dots. Yes, they always promise a good harvest. So I mean, corn field having a good lot of flowers. I mean, shows that promise that a good harvest. It shows that ah uh, there will be a good harvest. Corn harvest will be nice one. The farmers are going to get a good harvest. Our story begins. The only thing uh, the year the needed was a downpour or at least a shower. So to get a nice harvest. When it is ripened before the harvest, a small rain is required, not heavy rain. So only thing required was to get what 
downpour. Downpour of water means rain. So only thing required to have a good harvest was a rain. Downpour. Downpour of water. That means rain. Or at least a shower. That means a little bigger than a drizzling. So only thing required for the farmer to receive a good harvest was a rain. So farmers were waiting to have a rain. Because the corn field is going, is almost ripe and the harvest is very near. Before the harvest comes, I mean the corn field, I mean really required a rain. Not a heavy rain, but a mild kind of rain. Okay. Throughout the morning, Lengo, our story begins, our farmer, in a way our hero. Our Lengo, who knew his fields intimately? A farmer knows. Who knew? You see? Uh, Lengo, who knew? Who knew? Okay, na? So, that who speaks about Lengo? It's a relative pronoun. Okay, na? Yes, relative close. We will study at the, at the end of this lesson. What's the relative close? Relating two sentences using a relative pronoun. Who here stands for our Lengo? For example, this is the boy who go to first class. Who speaks about the boy? It's a relative pronoun. Okay, na? This is a boy, he got to first class. So it's a boy who got first class is a relative close. Who got to first class is the relative close. I mean combining two sentences using a relative pronoun is relative close. A detailed discussion is there. If you want to know more about relative close, uh, I mean uh, one lesson is there, one video is there on relative close. So you go to you go, I mean, YouTube, type relative close, SDK English, you get a detailed discussion on what is a close, what is a relative close, I mean and defining and non-defining relative closes. Okay now, uh, just now here, that's all. Okay, okay. So who knew his, his feels intimately? A farmer knows his feels very intimately, very near. Very near. See, that means uh, very closely, not uh, intimacy, you see? So, intimate friends we are, that means very near, very close. So, he knows his field very closely. Who else knows? He also. Only farmer knows how his field is, how much the, I mean, uh, cultivation is ripened, when the harvest will be ready, what uh, manure required, what fertilizer required, and uh, fertilizers required. He knows. Who knows? The farmer knows. So, who knows means what? Uh, our lingo, he knows his field very well. Had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast. Yes, he had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast. Looking at the sky, whether there is any chance of a rain. So, previously it was told Indian agriculture is a gamble of monsoons. Is it not so? If monsoon comes in a proper time, properly, you get a good harvest. Otherwise, everything will be spoiled, everything will be lost. In an agriculture, is a gamble of a monsoon. In the same way, here, our farmer Lengo is looking at the sky, whether there is any chance of a rain to come. Our story begins, our farmer Lengo waiting for a rain to come, so that he gets a nice harvest. Is it okay? Yes. So story this way, I'm moving fast. I mean, okay. Yes. You see? Now we are really going to get some water, woman. Ah, woman generally, husband will tell uh, his wife. Uh, it's uh, like you, uh, like a lady. Uh, it is not a bad salutation. Oh, woman. Oh, my lady. We are going to have... I mean, now we are really going to get some water. Yes, really we are going to get some water means we will really have a nice rain. The woman who was preparing supper replied, Yes, God willing. If, I mean, uh, God desires or wills, the will of God should be there now. If God wills, we shall surely have a good, uh, I mean, rain. I mean, uh, enough water, downpour of water or rain. The older boys were working in the field. The older boys of the family were working in the field. While the smaller ones were playing near the house. While the smaller ones were playing near the house. Until the woman called them to all. 
Then later on the woman called them old. Come for dinner. Mother is calling children and of course husband too. Huh? I mean uh, she is calling her husband and children for uh, dinner. Come let us have dinner. It was during the meal that just as I mean one minute. Uh, just as Lengo had predicted big drops of rain began to fall. Yes, when they were having their dinner, uh, big drops of water began to fall. That means uh, the rain started. The northeast huge mountains of clouds could be seen approaching. Huge mountains of clouds, huge clouds were seen approaching, coming near. Okay, the air was fresh and sweet. Uh, fresh air, sweet air. Uh, I mean, cold wind is coming. The man went out for no other reason than to have uh, the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. <laughs> nice experience, no? Standing in the rain, okay, enjoying the rain. He went out to enjoy the rain, raindrops falling on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, Yes, these are in raindrops falling from sky. These are really raindrops. What is that? Uh? They are new coins because the rain will bring us money. Why? Because we are going to get a good harvest. Actually, the rain is uh, indirectly, it is money, money, money. Because if only we get a good rain, that we are going to get a good harvest. If we get a good harvest, no doubt we will get a lot of money. So actually, these raindrops are uh, money, money, money and money. Okay, the big drops are 10 cent pieces. Ah, big drops are big amount of money. And the little ones are files, ah, small amount of money. Coins, paisa and rupee, like that. Okay, na? Ah, big drops means big money. Small drops means a small amount of money. With a satisfied expression, he regarded the field of ripe corn with his flowers. He regarded, he looked at, you see, the ripe, ripened corn with his flowers and flowers too. Dropped in a curtain of rain, everything dropped is covered in a curtain of, curtain of rain. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow. Suddenly, quite unexpectedly, there began a strong wind, a wind began to blow. And along with the rain, very large hailstones a solid form of water, hailstone, it comes in during the rain, is it not so? Just like uh, stones it is. Uh, when it falls onto the ground, it will break, it will become water, that's all. Okay, now, when heavy rain, actually, you know, cloud, is it not so? When heavy wind uh, it touches that cloud, it will come uh, drizzling big drops and uh, biggest one, uh, hailstones, okay? So, Wind began to blow and along with the rain, very huge hailstones, I mean, began to fall. Okay, so hailstones began to fall, not a small one, but a huge ones, big ones and huge ones began to fall. These truly resemble new silver coins. Uh, big drops means, uh, I mean, uh, bigger amount of money. Silver, I mean, uh, hailstones means uh, silver coins or gold coins. Means huge amount of water is coming. The boys exposing themselves to the rain ran out to collect the frozen uh, pearls. Pearls, it is like pearls. See, frozen uh, piece of water. Freeze, froze, frozen. Okay, now. So actually, it's all in form of water. So it is nice. Uh, they began, like apples falling or ice cream falling. They were ran out of the house and began collecting it. Not taste, but nice. They were, some of them, uh, children will eat also. Yes, the water actually, but it's very cold, like ice. It just seems to be, it will be so cold. So it is nice to run through that rain and collect these hailstones and uh, play with that. They will throw each other, like the stones being thrown. They will play with that. They will try to eat, then there is no taste for now. So it is not sweet like ice cream. Okay, and they will really play, they will throw at each other. Nice time for children to play when the hailstones are falling. So, hailstones began to fall in large numbers. It is really getting bad now. It was nice when the rain came, but slowly, slowly, the nature of the rain changed. Uh, small draws, big draws, bigger one, biggest one, hailstones. 
and it is really getting bad now things are moving from bad to worse exclaimed the man i hope it passes quickly now this phase of the rain should pass quickly otherwise it is going to be danger it did not pass quickly but unfortunately you know it did not pass quickly for an hour the hail rained on the house the hail stones began falling on the house for one hour the garden the hillside the corn field on the whole valley there came hail stones falling oh i mean in the end of valley the field was white as if covered with salt not salt but salt as if it seems to be it appears to be covered with the snow or covered with the uh, salt not a leaf remained on the trees leaves all began coming down not a leaf negative with the emphasis even single leaf was not remaining not a leaf so not a word was spoken by the thief that means he did not speak even a single word giving emphasis giving force to not a word and not a leaf remained on the trees all the leaves came down the corn was totally destroyed then their corn field was destroyed it was so huge heavy rain and then their corn field was damaged and destroyed the flowers were gone from the plants the flowers were gone from the plants lengos lengos soul was filled with sadness heart broken his future there is his future there is heart broken he became he was so sad he was so sorry when the storm had passed he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons he told his children his sons a plague of locusts would have left more than this see locusts you no know, insects which fly in big swarms swarms groups Oh, and destroy crops. Some kind of insects are there. They would come in huge numbers, and they would eat away all the harvest, all the uh, fruit, all the plants, the leaves. Everything will be eaten. Even if such kind of, uh, I mean, a calamity comes, more would have been left. That means nothing is left. Everything is destroyed. Then their corn field is destroyed. See, everything is lost. Yes, this hail has left nothing. Actually, this hail has left us with nothing. This year we will have no corn. This year we will have no corn. Means we will starve. We are farmers now. We have no other resource, no other source of money. This is the only resource for us. We have to starve this year. Poverty will come. and we will start because the corn field is lost the corn field is destroyed nothing remains that night was sorrowful one the day was sorrow the night was sorrow the night was sorrowful one all our work for nothing how all our work is for nothing is of no use it is wasted yes there is no one who can help us who can help us in this i mean uh, crucial hour nobody can nobody will help also who will help who can help yes we will all go hungry this year surely we will all go hungry this year see the i mean uh, uh, questions there you can answer yourself uh, what did then go hope for that we are going to see okay now he is expecting i mean a help Help from God. First, if you are answering that, Lengo was expecting a, a good a rain. Okay, so he was hoping for at the beginning of the story. But later on, his hopes changed, his wishes changed. I uh, will see then their story. After seeing then their story, we will just better to answer such a way. While Lengo say the raindrops were like new coins. First, he hoped that there will be a rain. 
Then he said that each drop stands for money because if only they get a good harvest that they can get a good amount of money. Uh, how did the rain change? Uh, first it was small rain, then the nature of the rain changed. There came heavy rain with the storms and I mean hail storms. What happened? Lengos fields, it was completely lost or destroyed. What were Lengo's feelings when the hail stopped? He was so sorry, he was so sad, he felt that uh, there will be no money left, they are going to starve. In any way, you can write in your own sentences. Answer them in one or two sentences. But in the hearts of all who lived in that story tree house in the middle of the valley, in the heart, in the hearts of all, there was a single hope. Help from God. Only single hope was remaining. That is help from God. Only God can help us. Nobody in the world can help. Only God can help us. They felt, he really felt that only God, God alone can help him. Don't be so upset. Even though this seems like a total loss. Remember, no one dies of hunger. Don't worry, we may have the star, hunger might come, but nobody dies of hunger. You see, uh, there is one they say, no one dies of hunger. People say, it is being told that hunger we have to suffer, but generally nobody dies of hunger. But there are some countries where people die out of hunger. Hunger death is there in some uh, poor countries. It's not so in Nicaragua, Zimbabwe, some countries are there, poor countries. Okay. There is one they say, no one dies of hunger. All through the, uh, all, all through the night, Lengo thought only of the, his one hope. The night and then he was thinking about uh, his only expectation. A ray of hope is there for him not to starve. The help of God. Only God can help him. Yes, whose eyes as he had been instructed, see everything. God sees everything. He had been told, he had been taught, instructed, he taught. Yes, from childhood onwards, he had been told that God sees everything. Your sorrows he sees, your happiness he sees, he will help you in your need. He knew, he believed that God will help when he is in trouble. Yes, see everything, even what is deep in one's conscience, manasachi. In your conscience, what is in your mind that also God sees. You cannot hide anything from God. It is a strong faith, his belief that God will help. Even his thoughts, God sees. God sees even his own thoughts. He, is under, he understands what he thinks also. Lengo was an ox of a man. Just like an ox, he was working. Working like an animal in the fields. Just like an animal, he was working in the fields. Yes, but still he knew how to write. Little education he had. Not illiterate. Illiterate is what? Not able to read and write. Whoever knows uh, reading and writing uh, is literate. Opposite is illiterate. Means not able to read and write. So, Lengo was able to write. Though he was uh, just like an animal working in the fields. He works uh, uh, heavily, uh, very hard, uh, just like an animal. Still, he had a little education too. Generally, these kinds of farmers won't have any education. But he knew how to write. Yes. So, the following Sunday at daybreak, he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town. He wrote a letter to carry into the town and place in the mail, means mailbox, letter box. He would write letter and put it in the mailbox, letter box. It was nothing less than a letter to God. His only expectation was that only God can help him. So he wrote a letter to none other than God himself. God, he wrote. God, he wrote, if you don't help me, my family and I will go hungry this year. Oh God, he prayed and wrote, if you don't help me this year, at this time, at this danger, my family will starve. 
go hungry this year i need 100 i mean pesos maybe like dollars okay is a coin is a currency i imagine is dollar that only you are familiar with okay now oh, give me 100 dollars oh god in order to sow my field again sow the seed you get the plants this is also sowing s o w okay to sow the field he must get the seeds he must purchase the seeds then some expenditure is there for sowing uh, then cultivation expenditure is there so for the entire cultivation he needs some amount of money is 100 pesos for example 100 dollars he has to feel again and to live until the crop comes and more than that he must be eating something until the next harvest comes because the hail storm it has destroyed our entire uh, field entire uh, harvest is lost he wrote to god and the song never to god on the envelope put the letter inside and still troubled went down yes he was still troubled uh, he believed god will help still he was in tension what will happen okay when he uh, when will he give he will give when doubts were there he was in trouble he was in tension at the post office he placed a stamp on the letter he posted a pasted some stamp also on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox he dropped the letter to god in the letter box or mailbox one of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing heartily he began laughing heartily hearty laugh means sincere laugh with a big sound laughing like anything hi look at this and showed him the letter to god the post master was shown by the postman a letter and to none other than god himself never in his career as a postman had he known had he known he had known you see he had never known in his life as a postman that address nobody wrote a letter to god in his entire career as a postman the postmaster okay i mean uh, see uh, where is it okay 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 so when to his boss okay okay so the letter was shown to the uh, boss postman showed the letter to the postmaster okay never in his career as a postman had he known as a postman he had never known someone writing a letter to god so the postmaster a fat amiable means lovable amiable means friendly lovable ah fellow also broke out laughing he also began laughing like anything but almost immediately he turned serious that he thought the man is really in need poor man a farmer his field is lost his source of income is lost he has no other source had he good friends he would have asked him he had no friends nobody to help whom can he ask only to god he became very serious the thing is serious that he is asking yes and tapping the letter on his desk commanded tapping miss putting forcefully on the desk he said what a faith what a faith is this faith in god faith in god yes i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter i wish i had i don't have now that a strong faith i have never seen in my life i wish i had the kind of a faith just like this man the farmer starting up a correspondence with god only such faith can make a correspondence is it uh, with to god he can have some conversation some discussion some letter correspondence with god only if you are so strong uh, a faith his faith is so strong that is why he was able to have some correspondence with god so in order not to shake the writer's faith in god if the money is not given i mean he will begin uh, doubting whether god will give whether god is there whether his faith is wrong uh, his faith will be lost he will begin doubting god his faith will be lost so they didn't have that strong faith in god we should not shake we should not allow his faith to be shaken we shall not allow his faith to be shaken yes 
Starting away our Kogu. So in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea. Then the postmaster thought, the man is simple man of harm. He has, he has so strong uh, faith, strong faith in God. Let it be there. We shall not allow it to be shaken. Answer the letter. Ah, oh, one solution is there. We shall answer the letter. What he is asking. Okay, but when he opened it, he was evident that uh, to answer it, he knew something more than goodwill. Because of his goodwill, he thought of answering it, but he understood that uh, a mere goodwill won't be sufficient. He is asking hundred uh, dollars, for example, pesos. In uh, uh, goodwill, ink and paper, just having goodwill, ink and paper won't be sufficient because he is asking God to send him some money, hundred pesos. But this, he stuck to his resolution. He was resolved to help him. He asked for money uh, from his employees, his uh, friends, uh, employees, co-workers, comrades. He asked, can we help him? He himself gave part of his salary. See, during that time, 19th century and all now, uh, this is a huge amount. Now it is not. Uh, the time has changed. Money value has gone down. So, 100 dollars at that time, which means 10,000 dollars now. So, an ordinary employee cannot uh, help it, okay now, uh, by himself. So, he asked help from his uh, friends, employees and comrades. Okay, he was willing to part with the forego some of his salary, not entirely, he must leave now. He must eat three times a day. Okay, some part of his salary. Okay, and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. Charity and mercy. Okay, now showing kindness as charity, showing kindness towards so others is charity. So they showed some kindness for the poor farmer. It was impossible for him to gather together the hundred pesos. So he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half. He could not send a hundred. It is a huge amount at that time. So, above, more than 50% was sent. 50 above, around 75%. Okay, he put the money in an envelope, addressed to, I mean, Nengo, I mean, and with it, a letter containing only a single word as a, a signature God. He did not explain who sent it, how it was sent, from where it is coming, just only one word was there, God. God is sending the letter and money of course, okay. God is sending our farmer money, but not entirely what he asked, uh, above 50%, uh, maybe around 75%. Yes, two, three, three more questions are there. Who or what did Lengo have faith in? Faith in God. What did he do? You know it now. He wrote a letter asking to help him by giving 100 pesos. Who read the letter? Postman first, then the postmaster. Uh, what did the postmaster do then? He decided to help our farmer by donating him the amount. Okay, he was not able to give full, but above 50% was given. The following Sunday, Lengo came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. On the following week, he came, he came as usual to ask whether there was a letter for him okay following sunday okay sunday may be working there ah it was a, the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed looked on from his office postmaster felt so uh, pr felt some pride in his heart i helped a really needy he was doing something great to help for by helping a, uh, an ordinary sadha, I mean poor farmer. He felt that pride in his heart. I really did some act of charity by donating an amount from my salary, collecting the remaining amount from my employees, my friends, and giving the helping uh, by helping the poor uh, farmer. And he looked from his office uh, to see the expression of the farmer. Okay. As if he performed a good deed, looked on from his office. Lengo showed not the slightest surprise. He was not surprised because he had a strong faith. 
faith in god he had very strong faith because he expected that ah for god 100 rupees what nothing he can simply give you hundreds of thousands ah uh, lakhs also he can give he is not so like a magician ah alavadi nanne magikkalam vino so you scratch at that lamp uh, um group some um, um, what is that magical creature would come i mean um, uh, maybe a ghost or a devil uh, and he would give whatever he wants okay na the same way god will send money now uh, he believed very strongly that god will give whatever he ask strong faith very strong faith okay so he had no surprise so it was quite natural he has expected that god would give him the asked amount it was quite natural for him no surprise nothing unreal nothing unusual he expected the amount to be given okay so uh, where is it yes um lengo showed no the slightest surprise on seeing the money such was his confidence so great was his confidence but he became angry ha huh? he became angry why when he counted the money then he found 100 not there god could not have made a mistake hey for god there cannot be a mistake now god can give any amount of money there can be no mistake nor could he have denied lengo lengo what he had requested how can god deny what i have asked i am a strong believer i have faith in god if i ask he must give god will give no god can give god is so rich he may have printing machine also he will give the take money and give oh, he believes in such a way the poor old foolish farmer just believes that god is printing money or there or something like that is it not so yes god will give no god has a lot of money he will let him give i asked him 100 he must give 100 is it not 100 is not here now yes he was very angry immediately lengo went up to the window to ask for a paper and ink then he gave went to the counter window actually was counter then he asked sir give me a paper and some ink to write at that time ink when not there you had to dip that pen into the ink and write okay na uh, during that time before independence okay ink and paper uh, where is it okay on the public writing table there is a table for people to write let us say sir he started to write with much wrinkling on his uh, brow uh, when you are not feeling well you will uh, raise your eyebrows now then this wrinkles will come okay na uh, the marks of doubt anger and doubt what is that is not so that wrinkles will come when you are having some doubt or some anger etc and all so wrinkles were there on his brow brow means uh, his eyebrow eyelash is eyebrow this one eyelash this one okay na you know it now forehead so brow here means forehead this forehead okay na so on his own bro caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas he was thinking very deep on to write to god how shall i say that what god you have done this i asked 100 you gave me 75 what is this god what are you doing there send me money i want money i have need of money send me some money yes when he finished he went to the window to buy a stamp hey he went to the counter to get a stamp which he licked ah some people you know lick at the stamp to paste it okay and then affixed the envelope with a blow of his fist so put that stamp on the desk and he i mean uh, hit at it so that the stamp is pasted so properly the moment the letter fell into the main box the postmaster went to open it they knew to whom it is being addressed okay they cannot carry a letter to the god himself so out of curiosity they ran to take the open the mail box and see what it is written there it is said god of the money that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me ah 75 not there only 70 i got i asked 100 you gave me only 70 ah send me the rest ah i asked 100 now give me the remain remaining 30 where is that give me that also ha uh-huh. ha since i needed it very much do you know i need it very much you must give me that i asked 100 you must give me 100 ha uh, not even 1 rupee should not be uh, lesser okay uh, you should not reduce any no reduction no reduction uh, sale nothing is there i asked 100 you must give me 100 that's uh, just is now 
Hundred I ask her now. She will give me hundred. Uh -huh. I need it very much. Do you know? I need it very much. But don't send it to me through the mail. Ah, but oh God, don't send it through mail by letter or something. Don't. No, 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 no. Why? Because the post office employees are a bunch, is a group, a bunch of crooks, crooked people, miss cheaters. And these fellows, waste fellows, na? What these people are? They are all crooked fellows. Kanni crafty crooked, kanni crafty crooked. What was they meaning? Cheaters, they are all deceiving. They won't give it to me. They will not give it to me. They if you send thirty, they may give only uh, fifteen. Huh? So don't send it through mail or through letter. No, no, no. We cannot trust these people. They are cheaters. So give me directly another thirty because I ask for hundred. You have to give me hundred. Ah, uh, by lingo. So we have a good lot of lessons to learn. Is not so? Uh, first of all, strong faith, and there is some irony. So the postmaster did uh, out of his charity, kindness, etc. Uh, but it was, a, uh, I mean, a misfire. Yes, the man misunderstood even the entire employees who really helped him. Okay, na? Yes. So you should have faith in God, but should be reasonable, not unreasonable. Your faith should be. Reasonable. Your faith should be reasonable. Okay. I remember uh, the words of, uh, I mean, the story of uh, uh, Socrates, the Greek philosopher. Okay, now the first philosopher of Greek. Uh, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. So he prayed once, Oh God, give me something to remain alive if I do deserve it. Then his wife heard it. He was very angry. Why can't you ask for some chapels for our children or some clothes for me? Then Socrates answered, God is not running chapel shop or a testing shop in heaven. God is not running chapel shop or a testing shop in heaven. The words of Socrates, Greek philosopher. You know who he is. Okay, now. Anyhow, that is simply told. Our story, once go through the story, uh, understand it. I mean, uh, watch the video more than once. If there is a doubt, make your comments. I will really answer them. Grammar, we will discuss in a separate video. Thank you for watching. Meet you with another video. Goodbye.